if you've if you've kept up with Sauters, I'm sure you read about Sauters all the time. Uh, if you kept up with Sauters, uh, they are now trying to get rid of lead, and they are also going with this one is a water soluble core. Now the advantage to a water soluble core is I keep a wet sponge handy, and when you get through. Uh, soldering something you can take a wet sponge and wipe it down and uh, for anything except stuff you're going to paint that gets rid of the corrosive elements of uh, the flux that's in them and uh, if you use rosin core or god forbid acid core uh, it leaves a residue that you need to clean up but especially before you paint or your paint won't it'll buckle, it'll do all sorts of stuff. Uh, what I used to do was every time, and I still do, uh, I have a, a hydrostatic or electrostatic, whatever those things are. Ultrasonic. Ultrasonic, that's good, cleaner, that I got from uh, a dentist who was going out of business. He was closing his shop. And so I bought his, his cleaner. And uh, I will run like a brass car through that before I paint it to make sure I get rid of all those uh, flux residues. Now flux is extremely important. Uh, what flux does is, is really two things, uh, but the easiest way to explain it to you, well the first one is it kills oxidation. It cleans off the oxidation. And all metals have oxidation. In, in steel you call it rust. In uh, brass or copper, you may call it tarnish, but it's an oxidation that happens uh, almost immediately on, on brass and copper. Uh, it even happens on the end of your iron. You look at the end of this iron and it's gray. I can wipe it with a wet sponge and it's turned silver on me. Uh, that's oxidation that's happened. And if I leave it in this for uh, a minute and start to use it again, it'll be gray again. It'll oxidize that fast. Uh, so flux will cut through the oxidation to allow the silver, I mean the solder, to actually get into the pores of the metal it's joining. The other thing it does is it acts like wet water. Okay, you go and you ballast your railroad. Why, do you, why don't you just put glue on it? It won't get into the pores. You put the wet water on it to kill the uh, surface tension and then your glue mixture will get into all the ballast and seal it down good. Flux does the same thing when you solder. It kills that surface tension and allows the solder to get deeply into the pores of whatever you're, you're soldering together. Uh, I have some liquid solder here that I use. Uh, for some things because it, 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 I mean liquid flux, because it's just very easy to use to apply to a little spot, especially electronics. Uh, and then the other thing that I use a lot of is this stuff and, and I think there'll be a run on this tomorrow because uh, many of you probably don't know about paste solder. Uh, this stuff is designed for plumbers and when they're putting together copper pipes they will put this on the pipe and then when they heat it up it solders together. Uh, what it is, it is powder solder mixed with flux and it, it, is, uh, it always separates because the solder is so much heavier than the, the flux liquid. But you can see it is, it is a, a paste and I will use this a lot tonight and I use it for more soldering than probably any other type of solder. Uh, certainly I, I will use this for uh, electronics. I do not use the paste for electronics. I'll use this for electronics. I'll use it for my bus wire. But when it comes to soldering track, soldering feeders, uh, working on brass cars or brass locomotives, this stuff is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Another thing I use a lot of are these, these uh, skewers. I use skewers for all sorts of stuff. Well, a uh, couple of other things I'll mention. One is tin, uh, tip tinner. Have you ever had a soldering iron that eventually the end just 
it doesn't seem to want to work for you. It's not silvery. Uh, this gun, for instance, when I came in tonight was, was very ugly. And I just tinned it. I, I used this tip tinner uh, and wiped it in there and it retins the end so that it will solder much better. Uh, what did I pay for that? I got that at EPO. Who knows what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. Uh, also, if you get too much solder on something, shame on you. But if you want to get it off, one way to do it is with one of these wicks. Uh, this is simply woven brass wire that's very thin, but it, it's literally that. It's a wick. You lay it in the solder and get it hot, and it'll s soak up the solder to get excess solder off. Of course, you can also, if you're really brave, take your... Uh, your canned air <laughs> and don't point it at anybody but get it hot and go poof and a ball of solder will end up somewhere uh, 